Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and we're going to take a look at the email starter config for TinyMCE. We built it for anybody who wants to add rich text editing quickly and easily to their email builder projects. Of course, you can use the same starter config for just a basic email project as well. Okay, so to get the starter config, you just have to head over to the link in the description where you can test out a demo of the starter config and get it with and without code comments. And to get TinyMCE, just head over to tiny.cloud and you can sign up for a free 14-day trial to try out some of the premium features used in the email starter config. Okay, let's get into it. So what I've got on the right is a fake email builder UI. There's no backend functionality. It's just to demonstrate how you can use TinyMCE. And on the left, I've got the HTML code that goes along with it, the JavaScript, the CSS, and the HTML to render this page. Now, when you're building an email builder, you need to know that TinyMCE is used to control the rich text content within your email builder, but it doesn't control the drag and drop layout that many email builders have. So if you're creating an email builder, make sure you're able to build out that layout functionality that allows the user to change and switch up the layout and modify the templates. You'll see right off the bat, I've got uh, some fake UI components up here just to represent what an email builder might look like. And then there's three elements that are controlled by TinyMC, a wide column and then two single columns. Each element has its own instance of TinyMCE being applied to it with its own floating inline menu. The inline menu is useful because it follows your users around as they scroll through your email and edit its contents. Okay, so when we talk to people using TinyMCE within their email builder, the thing that they care about the most is control. Control over the styling, control over the content, and control over how the user interacts with the interface. So TinyMCE has a ton of functionality, over 50 plugins that you can enable, but also allows you to pare down that functionality to exactly what you want within your editor. So I'll give you an example. We specified some very strict styles that the content creator can follow when creating their emails. These are all manually specified in the config, which I'll show you later. And then with TinyMCE, you can also restrict specific types of styles to specific types of elements. For example, this call to action button can only be applied to a link. Next up, you want to avoid easily preventable mistakes when people are creating emails. So with TinyMCE, we have Spellchecker Pro, which lets your users spell check in the language of their choice in real time. And clean copy and paste. Have you ever had users complain that they're having trouble copying from Word, Google Docs, and their formatting gets all messed up? That's okay, we've got you covered with PowerPaste, a premium feature of TinyMCE that takes the output of those apps, cleans it up, and puts it into compliant HTML that you can feel confident about when sending emails. I'll show you what I mean. So I've got a pretty complicated Word document here. We're gonna copy it into this document and we'll see how it preserves the formatting. First it's gonna ask me if I wanna strip the formatting or keep it, I'll keep it in this case. There it is, it's all preserved, looking good. Okay, moving on to customizability and personalization. So you probably noticed at the top here we have an email merge token. That's created via our non-editable plugin and a custom button that we added at the top here. I'll show you what that looks like when we look through the code. But basically you can set up TinyMCE to allow your users to input pretty much any mail merge tag that you want and prevent it from being edited once they've inserted it. Now you also want to give your users the ability to express themselves when they're creating their emails. That's why we included enhanced image editing which lets your users perform transformations and other image manipulations to really make their image pop within their email. Okay, so what about usability? We've used the placeholder setting within this config to make sure that your users know that they can write when there's an empty text box in your email editor. This can be helpful if your users end up with a bunch of empty blocks in your email builder and acts as a helpful cue to them to know that they can enter content. And lastly, how about those email power users where a UI just isn't enough for them? We've also included the advanced code editor plugin, which lets them go in and modify the HTML as they see fit. Of course, just like all the other plugins and buttons, this is something that you can enable and disable according to your use case. Okay, let's take a quick look at the config now. Our starter config is available with comments, so you can see exactly what each line of code is doing. So the TinyMC config is written in JavaScript and exists within a script tag. So at the beginning here, we're just manually specifying what the mail merge tokens are. And then we get into initializing TinyMCE. We've set inline mode to true. And then we've specified our plugins and configured our toolbar. The menu bar is enabled by default, so we've disabled that because we're using inline mode. By default, TinyMCE allows users to specify a link target, like a link opening in a new tab. But since we're doing an email builder, we've disabled that option because it's not relevant for creating emails. And just to show you it's possible, you can enable and disable object resizing in case you have a really fixed layout and you don't want your users resizing images. 
Next up is formats and styles. So this is where we specify the styles available in the styles dropdown. First, we specify the formats, which is what CSS formatting will be applied to those specific styles. Since email requires inline CSS styles, we'll specify them as inline styles here, but you can also specify them as classes. Next, we specify the items in our style list and link them back to the formats we just specified above. This is where we add a placeholder if the editor is empty. And we can specify how the toolbar wraps if the window becomes smaller than the width of the toolbar. For example, here. And here's where we add the regular expression to tell TinyMCE what the mail merge tokens look like so it can make them non-editable. Now I mentioned earlier that we added a custom button. That's what we're doing right here. So we add a custom icon, this is SVG. And then we add the dropdown to it containing the options that we specified before the config. First name, last name, email address, and that kind of stuff. And then when a choice is made, it will insert the merge token. Okay, that's it. To get the starter config, head over to the link in the description. When you're there, you can also sign up for TinyMCE and claim your 14-day free trial, which includes all of the premium features shown in this video. Hopefully this video inspires you as to what's possible with your own email builder, and the starter config gives you a good jump off point to get started with rich text editing within your email builder. If you want more tips on email editing, check out our blog, follow our YouTube channel, or check out more links in the description. Good luck.